Police searched the property owned by Trezell and Jacqueline West yesterday with ground penetrating radar. They forensically inspected the vacant lots on both sides of the home, including the home, presumably looking for evidence or the remains in the missing persons case of Orson and Orrin West. I hope you'll take a moment and hit the subscribe and like button and make sure that you ring the bell so you receive notifications on content that we release. But for now, let's open an investigation. The internet lit up yesterday when the California City Police Department returned to the adoptive parents' home of missing children, Oren and Orson West. Their goal was to use imaging devices to collect digital evidence of the property and the ground around the home. Photos of, of the ground several feet down were taken. Now, the technical term for this kind of a search is called forensic geophysics. It's more commonly referred to by police as ground penetrating radar. Orson and Orrin West were reported missing on December 21st, 2020. One report suggests that the children may have been last seen by the other children in the home as late as December 19th, but the accuracy of this statement is yet to be confirmed. What we do know is that only Orson and Orrin were reportedly at the home on the 21st when they uh, came up missing. You'll remember that the remaining four children uh, in the household were staying with a grandparent some 60 miles away. Now, police have not named any suspects in the case, but there are many others who are casting blame on the adopted parents. Now, according to media reports, there were disturbances reported in Bakersfield, California yesterday at the same time the search was being conducted in California City and Bakersfield police responded to that scene. John Walker, the chief of police in California, reported that nothing of significance was found during the search in the California city home, but that the, re the investigation remains ongoing. So anyone with relevant information to this case, and really anyone with relevant information to the case, are encouraged to call the Cal City Police Department at 760 Three seven three eight six zero six. So what is forensic geophysics or ground penetrating radar? Think back to the old World War II movies when submarines first started using radar to send signals out into the water, listening for a ping as the sound bounced off of the enemy. This same principle works in the ground and can provide results that show natural caves, cavities, changes in the soil, and even human remains. I, I've used this technology before in a case in New Mexico that I consulted on. In this video, you see that it's being used and the results of those tests show that something actually was buried where we were searching. This was all done as part of a documentary series called The Killing Season. You might uh, enjoy going on to A&E and watching that. Well, ground penetrating radar has the potential to non-destructively detect buried and hidden targets underground. It's a proven strategy that's commonly used in crime scene investigations around the world. It's efficient, it's effective, and you know, especially in homicide cases where bodies are buried in the ground, it can be the thing that helps you find these individuals. Well, here's a question I have for all of you. What are your thoughts about police employing ground penetrating radar in the backyard and around the home? Does it change your theories on the case? I'll look forward to reading your comments below and thanks for listening. We'll see you soon at Profiling Evil.